Hi, my name is OBJ Oru, the fashion designer and award-winning costume designer. Welcome to another exciting episode of Design Matrix, where all of your design problems will be solved. One of the most amazing facts about being a fashion designer is that you get to design your own clothes. I made this outfit last night. Check. It's printed silk, in shorts, and a wrapped kimono top. I pattern drafted it myself also. Speaking of that, I will be taking you through pattern drafting today. That's our topic for today. When I first decided to become a fashion designer, I had absolutely no clue what I was getting myself into. I thought fashion design was just to sketch and color. No, it's not. I would sketch, color, and take to my tailor. Oops, my machinist. He never got my designs correctly. I would sketch it, design it, take it to him, and my feet would come out all wrong. That's because he uses what is popularly known as the freehand cutting. Oftentimes, they will even disappoint me and then I will disappoint my clients. One time, I disappointed a woman who was traveling for Christmas. I remember sitting on Third Millen Bridge and crying. I decided to get my act together, find a school, and learn how to pattern draft. Whatever business you find yourself in, you may want to learn the basics. Thank me later. Now, for today's topic, I am going to be showing you the tools you need for pattern drafting. I'm starting with my rulers. These rulers are the most amazing things ever. I've got two sizes. One is longer than the other one. The long ruler is the T-square. <laughs> when I first started, when I went to buy my ruler, it wasn't this very posh looking one. It was an actual T-square. I had to remove the T from the square. So you need your rulers to connect your lines. This is called a French curve. You have different types. I looked for like the biggest size. You don't really find it here. This curve here is to get the curve of the hip like this. Curve of the hip, this one. This ones are good for the armhole of your outfit. This is good for the neck of your, of your pattern. Then you have the smaller ruler, ruler to connect shorter lines. This is the right angle. It's a 90 degrees ruler. When I first saw it, I didn't know what it was used for. Um, it's used for truing your lines, making your lines straight. This is your protractor. And it's used for your circumferences. You need... 2B pencil, HB pencil, scissors again, fabric scissors and paper scissors. Make sure you differentiate it because the paper scissors cannot be used on fabric and the fabric scissors cannot be used on paper. You cannot use your fabric scissors on paper. It will make it blunt. You have your tracing wheel. When you want to trace your pattern into another paper, you need that also. Also, the tape rule still. You need the tape rule all the time, all the time. Then I've got like different colors of markers. I use that to indicate. This is your compass. And I'm sure you're wondering, what is this math object doing here in pattern drafting? I will teach you how to use it. It is used for contouring. Finally, the paper. I prefer to use the white paper because it's transparent. But if you can't find this in the market or the shops, you can use the brown one. Now, these are all the things that we need, basically, for pattern drafting. We're going to go on and do one pattern so you can see the uses of all of these tools. I'm in the process of drawing a basic body pattern. So I'm going to show you where to use all of the tools I talked about before. This is one of the French curves. I use this for necklines. This is the back of my neckline. I'm just going to put my curve here and easy peasy. See? I got that correctly. Then I'm going to take one of my short rulers to connect my shoulder. See? Done properly. Then now I need my, my right angle square. And see? Straight, no mistake. See? And then I'm still going to curve my, arm, my armhole with this. My, say my French curve. Covering my armhole. You have to angle it properly. And there you go. There you go. 
See? Connecting my dots now with my ruler. I had already done this, um, done my pattern lines beforehand. Today I'm only showing you how to do the tools, not how to draft the pattern itself. There you go. So, connecting the waist to the hip. I did tell you that this curve is used for the hip line. So, sorry. That's how you get the hip, the outfit. There you go. How easy was that? I have just shown you how to use the basic tools to pattern draft. When I learned how to pattern draft, I didn't go ahead to do any masterclass. I bought the most amazing textbook and I read, 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 practiced every day. My mom used to pick up my pieces of papers on the floor. Now, you might want to go and do a course. They offer it here in Nigeria and Africa, or you might want to go abroad. Over here at Bide, we offer an eight-week short course. We teach you how to do the basics. I hope I was able to teach you something new today. Send in your questions. I'll do my best to solve some of your problems, all of your problems. Tweet at us and share this video. And remember, practice, practice until you get the hang of it. See you next time.